What makes bread rise and hold its shape? It's not just yeast. Gluten is the real architect behind every loaf. When flour meets water, gluten proteins link up, forming a stretchy network. This network traps gas bubbles from yeast, giving bread its airy structure. Without gluten, bread would be flat and crumbly, lacking the satisfying texture we all crave in a perfect slice. Gluten is actually made of two proteins, glutenin and gliadin. When you mix flour and water, these proteins combine to form long, elastic strands. Think of gluten as the scaffolding inside your bread, holding everything together. The more you knead, the stronger this network becomes, allowing the dough to stretch and expand without tearing. This is why kneading is crucial for great bread texture. Ever noticed how sourdough has big, irregular holes while sandwich bread is soft and uniform? That's gluten at work. Artisan breads often use high-protein flour and long fermentation, building a strong gluten network for those dramatic holes. In contrast, sandwich bread uses less protein and gentle mixing, creating a finer, softer crumb. The way gluten is developed changes the entire eating experience. Gluten's magic doesn't stop at structure, it also affects chewiness. Bagels and pizza crusts are famously chewy because they're made with high-protein flour and lots of kneading, which builds a dense gluten network. On the flip side, pastries and cakes use low-protein flour and minimal mixing to avoid gluten development, resulting in a tender, crumbly bite. It's all about controlling gluten for the perfect texture. Ever heard of the window pane test? It's a baker's trick to check gluten development. Stretch a small piece of dough. If it forms a thin, translucent sheet without tearing, your gluten network is strong and ready. This test helps bakers know when to stop kneading. Too little gluten, and bread collapses, too much, and it gets tough. Mastering this balance is key to baking success. Gluten-free breads face a unique challenge. Without gluten, they can't trap gas or hold shape like traditional loaves. Bakers use gums, starches, and other ingredients to mimic gluten's structure, but the results are often denser and less chewy. While gluten-free options are essential for some, they highlight just how irreplaceable gluten is in classic bread making. It's the invisible force behind that perfect, springy bite. Next time you bite into a crusty baguette or a pillowy roll, remember, gluten is the unsung hero making it all possible. From airy sourdough to chewy bagels, Gluten's unique properties shape every loaf. Understanding how gluten works unlocks a new appreciation for the art and science of bread. So what kind of bread will you bake next, now that you know the secret?